Okay, when we have a, uh, an incident and we are investigating, and particularly if it's possibly related to a computer crime, um, what do we want to end up with? What is it that we, you know, our, our objectives in terms of the investigation here? And again, uh, ultimately this is going to be determined by the policy, but overall, uh, if the company decides, yes, we want to determine, or, or, you know, regardless of how they decide how far uh, the, the enterprise is going to go in supporting an investigation, uh, you still, you know, you, you are going to tune it a bit in terms of um, the policy and how far you go. But you end up with the same things. Uh, you, you investigate the report itself. You, you investigate a lot of reports. Um, you have to pay attention, of course, to uh, reports from other entities, from other companies, from uh, your friends, your colleagues in the business in terms of what is in fact going on. What types of attacks are taking place? What types of crimes are taking place? Uh, that is going to inform your determination of whether a crime has taken place and what type of crime it is uh, in terms of the information that you are gathering about your own incident. So, uh, you know, reading, uh, researching, general stuff, uh, that's, that's part it of it. Uh, and you are going to be producing your own report. And again, um, you know, how much of that is internal, how much of it can be released to the general public, that's a part of um, the, you know, the policy decided by senior management how you know uh, as well as how far do we go how much do we say so uh, there are those areas to consider review your policies the uh, the audit policies uh, re you know certainly the, the policies with regard to investigation with regard to incident response, uh, but other related areas, such as audit, security audit, uh, the policies and procedures that are being followed, and have we, in fact, followed those procedures in terms of our incident response? And, you know, this is, this is serious, because it's, you know, sometimes not until we actually are faced with investigating an actual incident that we realize that, no, the, the immediate procedures that we followed, the, uh, you know, what we thought we were doing here doesn't correspond with the official policies. And then we have to either, you know, go to senior management and say, look, um, our official policies are unrealistic here need to be modified or we have to admit uh, okay we didn't follow policy we need to change our immediate determination of what the uh, activity uh, what the incident response is and produces so we need to do that as as part of our incident response and you know do our own investigation in a sense of ourselves uh, and what we have been doing what we have been dealing with how uh, well we are doing with regard to our own incident response and investigation and how it corresponds how it uh, relates to our policies. So all of those have to be reviewed. Um, 
And then, you know, again, looking at what we have found, has an actual crime been committed? And I, I take you back to uh, some of the uh, recent uh, pieces that I have put together here. You know, is this actually a crime or is it just annoying? Is this uh, something that somebody can be charged with? Um, is it uh, is it a tort, an injury that has, someone has done us that we can possibly pursue in terms of a uh, civil lawsuit? You know, or is it really actually a crime? And you know how we uh, deal with those. Um, well, they, you know, they're different things. They require different levels of evidence. Um, you know, proving beyond a reasonable doubt or proving uh, on the basis of probability. Uh, so we, you know, uh, we have to determine that. Is it a crime? Is it an actual harm? Or is it just annoying? And we simply have to put up with it and structure our security in different ways to prevent activity that we know is going to happen and cannot stop happening, uh, but mitigate the harm that it can do to us. You know, we're, we're going to have to put up with the activity. We don't have to put up with the... Uh, the damage that it does to us. And so there are things that we can do. Again, changing our policies, changing our procedures, changing our security tools, uh, educating our workforce to ensure that uh, there is less damage done to the enterprise in this regard. So, uh, and Again, as, as we kept on coming back to when we were talking about business continuity planning, I told you this is similar to business continuity planning. Inform senior management. Management has to know about this. Management, uh, you, you have to report to them even if you are reporting to them, okay, we messed up. Uh, and sometimes, even if it's, um, you messed up. Uh, you told us to do this. I, uh, I was just talking to somebody recently about, uh, some of my contracting and, uh, de dealing with lawyers, ironically. Uh, and initially, uh, they were, you know, they understood there's administration here. And particularly in uh, some of the contracting that I was doing where I was getting lots of calls from the lawyers uh, tuning what they wanted from me uh, asking advice uh, asking me to change uh, the way that I was pursuing things what kind of evidence I was providing for them and you know that's that's not research that's that's administration that's you know but it all has to be accounted for and uh, as I say, you know, lawyers understand this thing. It's a lot of administration that they do. But um, seeing as how they were just passing along my bills to their customers and adding on 15%, uh, they uh, at one point started to say, can you, you know, reword the administration somehow? Can you, you know, call it something else? And eventually one of them even said, uh, look, we don't want to break down on your bills. Just, you know... Send us the time. That's it. And for that particular contract, uh, when I submitted the final bill, uh, apparently the customer kind of balked at it and said, uh, you know, they wanted a breakdown. And the lawyers came back to me and said, um, can you give us a breakdown? And I said, you told me you didn't want a breakdown. So it's not, not available. Uh, so... You know, sometimes it's, you know, direction from senior management that created the problem. And sometimes that's what you have to tell them. <laughs>